Today we're talking shoulder and arm pain. Now, this can be extremely debilitating whenever we experience it, and it can limit what you're able to do throughout your daily life. There are a lot of different things that can cause it, but that also sets us up for a lot of different things that we can do to help out. Now, oftentimes people don't think about it, but one of the main things that can cause shoulder and arm pain uh, is actually neck issues. So all the nerves that run down into your shoulder and your arm and down into your hand come from our neck. So any misalignments of vertebrae in our neck, uh, any disc bulges, any herniations, any muscle spasms or severe issues here can cause compressions of those nerves and pain in there, as well as a lot of muscles in our neck will actually come down and attach into our shoulder joint uh, and to our scapula, different areas there. So those muscles can spasm and actually cause shoulder and arm pain. The next thing we have is those actual individual shoulder, elbow, and wrist joints. Now, anytime a particular bone gets shifted, we have our normal ranges of motion for all of our bones. It can get shifted out of place, and that can cause adhesions to where that bone doesn't move like it's supposed to. And this can cause muscle spasms. It can cause pinching of soft tissue uh, and muscles, uh, joint capsules, ligaments, or tendons around those particular joints. That can be excruciatingly painful. And then that can actually refer pain to different areas. And then you also have our individual muscles. So uh, you can have muscle inflammation, tendon issues, you can have actual muscle tears. Uh, so oftentimes uh, we can have shoulder tears from sports that throw. Um, you, if you do a sport that, uh, or constant repetition for work, potentially, uh, we hear about tennis and golfers elbow. So that's irritation in the elbow carpal tunnel. We have a lot of muscles that help to support, uh, and keep, uh, optimal, you know, distance and space within our wrist to decompress any potential nerve compressions in our wrist. Uh, a lot of muscle work can help out with that. So, uh, making sure that our neck is functioning properly. We don't have any compression of the nerves there, making sure that all of our joints in proper alignment and then making sure that all of our muscles are uh, at their optimal length, optimal function, uh, and no major issue, injuries or issues there is super important for that uh, shoulder and arm pain. So get some care. If you're having any symptoms like this, numbness, tingling, pain down into the shoulder or the arm, uh, chiropractic is very powerful, massage, physical therapy, um, a lot of different options there. So uh, there are a lot of things that you can do. If you can find issues, that means you can help to fix them and you can get your shoulder and arm pain taken care of.